Our other top story tonight, Detroit City Council is set to vote tomorrow on a land transfer deal involving the Detroit International Bridge Company. This agreement was actually signed years ago and it is legally binding, but protesters in southwest Detroit are urging council to include protections for homeowners. Priya Mann, live with more here. Priya, they are worried, I guess, about, uh, they say, losing parts of their community. Yeah, that's right, Devin Christie. That's one of their concerns. They're also worried that a third bridge could be built or that Riverside Park, where I'm standing now, could be impacted as well as streets that surround the Ambassador Bridge. We do not want this land transfer to go through without a community protection benefit agreement in place. Activists and homeowners in southwest Detroit protested next to the wall that separates Ambassador Bridge traffic from their neighborhood. The concern is them taking more land the pollution. I need my kids to have fresh air. We don't need so much traffic. They want city council to vote against a land transfer they say will negatively impact Riverside Park and St. Anne Street. The concern is they're going to start blocking streets and they're going to start displacing residents. And we just need to stop it. It's been going on for years and we're just all frustrated by it. It's got nothing to do uh, with St. Anne. It's got nothing to do with any threats in terms of neighborhoods being upset, this is only about the park. City Attorney Conrad Mallett says council is legally obligated to follow through on the agreement signed in 2016. All we need to do is have one council de declaration, this deal closes out, and we in fact keep our word as an institution. I just don't know why that's not important. What do we want? So there's a real fear of a third bridge, their second span to be built, um, and that's what community is fighting. We are tired of being ignored, of our health being seconds, um, and residents are truly affair, afraid that the bridge company will continue to encroach in the neighborhood um, and displace people as well. And I just really need the city council to step up, put some protection in place before this land deals go through. Now, we did hear back from the Detroit International Bridge Company in a statement. They say the question before council tomorrow is whether it should vote for the city to perform the agreement or it should vote for the city to breach the agreement. The city law department has opined that if the city fails to complete the transfer, the city will be in breach of the land exchange agreement and city council set to vote on Tuesday. We will, of course, be there reporting live at Riverside Park. I'm Priya Mann, local four. Sure will. All right, Priya.